Hey everybody, Justin here for another exciting episode of uh, Marvel Champions. How's it going? Uh, I'm going to be speaking a little bit softer because it is really late where I'm recording, but hopefully I can still bring that excitement that you want against our boy Ultron. So, uh, same Iron Man deck. A little bit spooked about going against Ultron, so after he attacks you, I choose to either place one threat on the main scheme or put the top card of my deck into play as a drone minion. Drones are a 1-1-1 one, one, one dude. That's great. And I can see that his first uh, scheme, three threat. That's not much. And when revealed, each player puts the top card of their deck face down into play as a drone minion. Drone o'clock. Here we go. Uh, so I think for reference, we're going to have a drone count. It's just easier than having multiple drones. Let's see what our opening hand is. All right. Supersonic Punch, Interrogation Room, Heroic Intuition. Those cards upside down. Daredevil, Stark Tower, and Great Responsibility, which honestly seems really good because it allows us to spend an extra turn in our uh, hero and our uh, alternate, our alter ego. Of note, we have no techs, so I think I'm gonna discard these four cards. And then we're gonna draw four new cards to replace them. No techs still, but they will come, I suppose. Uh, why don't we start this game off? I'm also just gonna move this cord, it's in my way. I gotta take turns in any order. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the top three cards of my deck and try to find a tech. Still no tech, you say. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I think we're gonna grab probably just the genius and discard these two. We will use that genius to play our boy Stark Tower which right now isn't gonna do too much. It's not gonna do much at all. Uh, we'll then use this energy and this for justice to play Jessica Jones, because why not? I'm also gonna use her to just, uh, cause we can attack outside We can just use them to attack, to defeat this. Oh, it's a tech. Interesting. Uh, so, there's no sense in us using this Stark Tower right now, because we're going to get more cards if we don't do that. So I think we're going to then pass here, and we're going to keep this great responsibility to get through this. Interrogation Room also actually seems really good with uh, Ultron, so we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it as is. Okay. I think I did everything right. We are then going to go into... Uh, discard any cards. I'm going to keep them, but I'm going to draw four new cards. We got War Machine for Justice, Rocket Boots, which is sweet, and the Power of Justice. Seems like a good time. Everything readies. And now I have two discard piles. What the heck's happening there? That's not really good. Uh, now we go into the villain phase, which I'm going to flip this card over and go over. Place threat on the scheme. Uh, after an Ultron attacks you, unrevealed. After a face down drone. All right. No other effects. So after he attacks me. So he's going to scheme now. Correct? Yeah, he schemes. So he's at 1 plus 1 equals 2. We are going to use this, get out of here, hand cam, this great responsibility, as you can see. So plus 2. Uh, to just, we'll take uh, 2 damage. And I don't have 18. I only have, no, wrong one. I only have 7. Only 7 health remaining now. So we can take it as damage instead. <clears throat> Exhaust your hero. Cool. That's fine. Uh, and draw our encounter card for the turn, which is under attack. When revealed, each player chooses to either place two threat here or deal three damage to the hero. 
to their hero. So we'll just go to five threat. What does that symbol mean again? That's crisis, I think. I still learned it in the game, as you can see. Seaside's game. Sure thing. I'll go through this rule book as much as you want. Crisis. That side scheme must be discarded before a threat can be removed from the main scheme. That's a little bit spooky, I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna say, is there a reason I only have five cards in hand? Um, but it's now our turn. Okay. Honestly, I'm feeling pretty all right here. Which maybe that's a little... Maybe that's a little uh, incorrect of me. So let's look at what we got. Uh, I think here we're going to actually start with the Tony Stark. So I'll look at the top three. We got some tech and two surveillance teams. So I'm going to grab a tech and then discard these surveillance teams. That's easy. Uh, I will use the Stark Tower to grab the topmost tech upgrade in my discard pile and add it to my hand. Those are going to be our powered gauntlets. Which, once again, actually seem really good against these uh, drone minions that are going to show up. Why are you exhausted? I don't have to exhaust you to use that. Stand up, Tony. Okay. Hmm. So, I think we're going to spend two. And play... arc reactor. I think that is kind of what we want here. I'm then going to spend two. Two more and we're going to play some gauntlets, powered gauntlets. And I'm going to keep interrogation room again because I do think that's going to be pretty juicy once we start being able to have enemies in play that we want to deal with. We're going to switch into our super mode. We're going to thwart. We're going to ready Iron Man. We're going to thwart with Jessica Jones. Not that the order matters. And then we'll thwart this as well and get rid of it. Okay. We'll draw our hand. We get one, two, three cards in total. So we have the power of justice and repulsor blast is what we are looking with. Working with right now. Seems good. Okay. Bad guy phase. So one scheme goes here. That's a bit spooky. That's a bit spooky for sure. Hmm. Okay. He's going to attack. So we have seven health. He has two attack. Three damage gets through. We're going down. We're going to go down to four. That is a little not great. That is a little not great. Okay. Oh, he's all ready. Stand up, ladies and germs. Uh, and after he attacks you, choose either place. I was gonna, I do want the top drone minion. So we're gonna grab that and put this here. That's an easy choice. And we now get our evil card, which is the villain attacks you. We could just die here. They're attacking at two. Boost special. Choose to either spend a fist resource or put the top card of your deck into play face down and engage with you as a drone. Um, honestly, I can spend the fist. We're not going to be playing this Repulsor Blast this turn, so that's totally okay with me. We'll take two damage. Go to... Wrong one. It's uh, been a while. My muscle memory for that is shot at this point. Okay. Well, we're just going to play uh, Interrogation Room, getting rid of this Power of Justice to do that. Now let's have some fun. First things first, poke this guy and kill him. It was an interrogation room. Use interrogation room to remove a scheme, a threat from the scheme. I think at this point we're going to just kind of like um, accept that we're going to kind of take, uh, we're going to get to the next stage. I think we have enough set up that like things are okay. So we're just going to poke Ultron for one. We did it. No one can, nothing can beat our superhero ways. Ready Iron Man. Actually, you know what, instead of the punching, we're going to th remove the thwart, the, this from that, because maybe he'll only put one on and then we get a whole extra turn because of it. 
Uh, we'll ready Iron Man. Flip. We'll return the top tech card, which is going to be our rocket boots. And then we'll look at the top three cards of our deck. Put one into our hand. I would like to have these out, but like they're, they're, they're dead. Uh, we'll just spend that helicarrier to put these rocket boots into play. I think that's the line we have here. Okay. We'll recover three health as well. That seems good. All right. We do get six cards though. Let's see what we got, shall we? We got a followed, more rocket boots, Mark V armor, which would be really nice, a helicarrier, Mark V helmet, which would be really nice, and more gauntlets, which would be really nice. Honestly, we're looking at a pretty good place there. Place one, threat on this, he is going to scheme. Plus one equals two, that is enough to advance this, so this is gone. When revealed, each player puts the top card of their deck into a dr as a drone. And then when revealed, Assault on Norad. After placing Threat here during each step one of the villain phase, we must either place two Threat or put the top card of their deck into as a drone minion. All right, well, we're going to just probably choose the drone minion each time. This stuff should be standing up, too. I always forget something in this. Like, I always do. All right, and then you get an evil card, Ultron, and it is... He, his card gain surge. All right. Next one is Concussive Blast. Deal one damage to each friendly character. So you're going to take one. Jessica Jones is dead. Well, she's not dead. She's a superhero. That's actually pretty minor. I'm okay with that. Jessica Jones did her work. She helped me clean the schemes up. So that's awesome. And uh, this is great. Uh, Stark Tower should be standing up. We're going to put it over here. Uh, I'm going to look at the top three cards in my deck and put one into my hand. Ooh, okay. Can we realistically play this Avengers Mansion? I would like to play one of these cards that, like, I can get back. The, raw, the powered gauntlets are also super important. I'll take the Avengers Mansion, but it's unlikely we're going to have the chance to use it. Uh, I will... Do I have a tech in here? Let's find out. I don't. So we should spend this card before that. All right. Uh, well, I think step one... No, I can't do that. We can't do that. I will heal three. We will heal three and then start playing some cards. We'll get rid of this uh, followed to play Mark V Helmet. And then we will get rid of Like I said, I want to get the, the Helicarrier out, but we really don't have time right now. Uh, we're going to get rid of these Rocket Boots, the Avengers Mansion, and the Mark V Armor. To play another one of these. Uh, then we'll use Stark Tower to bring the Mark V Armor back into our hand. Which we're just going to leave there for the time being. I should have put the Rocket Boots on top, because then we could have actually played the Rocket Boots. That was a little bit of a misplay on my part. Uh, we're going to transform. <laughs> Ready, Iron Man. Let's go. It's time. Play the music. Well, don't, because my channel will get destroyed. Let's destroy this guy. Supersonic Punch. And then we'll just poke Ultron for one while we're here. Oh, I do get plus one hit point from the Rocket Boots. That is actually nice. Um, and then everything's okay. All right. Let's go to the enemy phase, shall we? I have one, two, three, four, five, six cards in hand. So one, two, three, four, five. Shuffle up, give ourselves an evil card. 
Hey, Whiplash, how's it going over there? Alright, and then our last card will be... Heroic Intuition. So this is what we're looking at here. Pepper Pots would be really nice to get out. We actually have a lot of good choices for what's going to happen this turn. Alright, one threat goes here. We're going to grab a drone. Hello, I'm a drone. There's one of you here. Um, Ultron is going to attack me. For two, four. Ouch, that hurts. Drone attacks me for one. We go down to three. That is a bit spooky. That's a bit spooky, we're not going to lie. Um, and then we get our two evil cards. First evil card is Tash the Villain. After the Villain takes damage, he gains a tough card. We can spend two fists to get rid of that. And then we got... Exa oh, these should be standing up. All right, we're going to flip to our alter ego form and choose. Exhaust Tony Stark. Yeah, we'll just flip and then do that. When does the round start? Does it start with the player phase or does it start with the villain phase? Because that's an important question to me. All right. You know what? Let me know if I'm doing this wrong, but I think I can still flip back, can't I? Yeah, because that's change your form and that's flip. Okay, I think that's okay. Um, but yeah, it's our turn now. Please let me know in the comments if I got that wrong, because I don't know, actually. I don't know enough about this game. I should be standing up, too. Apologies for all my rule errors. There's a lot I'm trying to do at once here. Okay. Let's remind ourselves of our hands. So right now Pepper Potts does nothing, but we would like to get her out there. Well, look at the top three cards of my deck. Uh, we'll grab the Rocket Boots and discard these two. Okay. Gay. So I think what we want to do is we want to spend these three. Uh, okay, we could die. Alright. We're going to spend these three to bring Pepper Pots into play. We need that resource generation that she provides. Rocket Boots can come down here. Oh, so we should have two drone minions here because he attacked us. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're going to mess some things up, but we're going to get there. Um, we will use Stark Tower to return these rocket boots to our hand. I will then spend three currency, one, two, three, to bring this Mark V armor, just to give us a little bit of an HP boost. Slip to Iron Man. We'll stand Iron Man up. Let's uh, defeat one of these guys. Oh, no, there should be two cards. Okay, so there's two cards. There's two cards, but that's just, we're going to stack them up. Helicarrier gone. Ah, that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, one of these are from my boy, Ultron. Oh, and also interrogation room to get rid of this. Okay. And that's, uh, that's that. For our hand, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Alright, I guess it's time to play an Avengers Mansion, is what I'm learning for sure. Ooh, he gains a tough card too. Oh, I put my tough cards away! Alright, he is... <laughs> All right, we got to get rid of that card. 
we can do it this turn. All right, one goes here, get a drone. Uh, he is going to attack us for one. Two, three, four. That hurts. So we're gonna choose to still just take the drone, I think, because we're not too worried about that. Uh, drones attack us for two. And then we got this, which is the villain's schemes. So we ha he has one, just one. Just one, okay. All right. Go back to the hand, because I'm feeling a bit confident here. But maybe I shouldn't be. Maybe that's my problem. All right, well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this uh, vibranium armor with these two wild symbols. I will then... spend one wild, two blue, and a yellow to put an Avenger's Mansion into play, which we are going to exhaust to draw a card. And the card we drew was an interrogation room, which, as we know, does not actually do anything. Um, okay. A lot of choices here. First things first, I think we're gonna go airborne. We'll use the Avenger's Mansion to go airborne. Uh, we're going to attack and defeat one of these guys. It's an interrogation room. We'll use our interrogation room to remove a threat from this. And then we will blast... I don't know why I went airborne, just because it sounded cool. We'll blast this guy. Hey, Jessica Jones, what were you doing inside of that robot suit? And then we'll get rid of the tough... And remove this threat. We'll ready Iron Man. Transform into Tony Stark. Ready Iron Man. Transform into our boy Tony. And then recover three. Uh, I will return the topmost tech. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not how that one works. Return the topmost tech, which is gonna be probably our rocket boots. And then we we'll use the futurist to look at the top three and put one into our hand. War Machine looks pretty sweet here. Uh, I think we will go War Machine. I think having him in play would be pretty awesome. So we got rocket boots. We're just gonna play by getting rid of one of this, uh, this interrogation room that actually doesn't do much right now. So we get plus one hit point. Okay. Everything's looking all right. Sorry about the glare. I'm still trying to get all this going. Maybe let's see if we can just do a little, it's getting worse as this goes on. I can just bring the, that down. Oh yeah, that's a lot nicer. I need like a shield over, over above me. Kind of defeats the point of lighting though, doesn't it? Okay. Um, I will discard this for justice for my hand and then we draw up to six. We got a repulsor blast, energy, great responsibility, surveillance team, great responsibility, and our boy, war machine. Everybody stands up. Man, this game loves its stuff, doesn't it? All right, threat goes here. That means a drone, baby. Uh, he is going to scheme for one, two, three. We're at four. This guy schemes for one, we're at five. Honestly though, I'm feeling it. Evil card is. He deals two damage for each drone minion in play. All of our hard work for nothing. That's okay. Okay, once again, back to this hand. Uh, I will start with the Tony Stark because it's kind of crazy not to. 
We got a supersonic punch. I think it's time to start bringing the noise to our boy. Put the strength on top. Start to, time to start bringing the noise to our boy Ultron. Okay. Do I have any tech in my graveyard? I don't think so. I think all my tech's now in play. I think there's what, eight tech? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, seven tech. Eight includes that. Okay. Uh, health is at seven. Uh, I will heal. Whoa, calm down, OBS. Um, and then I think we transform. And we'll ready Iron Man, baby. Okay. Um, first things first, we're going to go aerial with this card. You see it is blue. So we are now aerial until end of turn. Which is pretty exciting. Oh no! My strength! We're going to just take that back. We're going to play a card first. We're going to exhaust Pepper Pots. And then pay two cards. Oh, we'll just actually play this energy to put our boy War Machine into play. Uh, not worth it to fight drones yet. When we get like when we're falling behind on drones, then we will we'll start worrying about that. Okay. Now we'll go airborne. Baby, it's time. And then we will spend two to play Supersonic Punch and deal eight damage. Eight damage to our boy Ultron. That's me. I think my health is there. I think it was, I think it was actually at nine. Okay, okay. Now we're going to draw a card, which is going to give us an encounter card. But our deck gets to reshuffle. one card which is Jessica Jones which is actually kind of sweet but Jessica Jones goes right into the garbage for this repulsor blast so we're gonna attack Ultron and we're gonna deal one damage and then I discard the top five cards of my deck one two three four five and then for each lightning bolt so one two three we deal two additional damage so he is going to take um, seven damage in total. That's sick. That's my best repulsor blast I've had so far. Uh, we're going to zap. What's his upgrade side? That's. Okay. Okay. We can go here. I think it's fine. Till the end of this attack, he gets plus one attack for each drone minion engaged with you. Yeah, that's fine. I think we can go here now. We're going to zap this drone, which was a supersonic punch. I would have liked to have that in my deck. I mean, I suppose we could wait a turn. Eh, what's the point in waiting? We'll remove a threat. We'll remove one threat from each scheme because we are aerial. We'll clean this up a bit more. And then we will finish him off. Level 2, he has 22 HP. And now he has 2 attack and 2 scheme. When Ultron attacks you, put the top card of your deck into play face down, engage with you as a drone minion. Until the end of this attack, he gets plus 1 attack for each drone minion engaged with me. Um, we'll end our turn here. And we're just going to hope that it doesn't go too south for us between now and then. We get to draw seven cards because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
but the max is seven. Repulsor Blast, some Power of Justice, Helicarrier, Daredevil. Honestly, Daredevil is going to be pretty sweet here. I think we're going to want him out. Okay, let's see if we can do this properly. This goes here. It's going to turn into a drone. We have one drone. Uh, he is going to attack us. When he attacks you, it becomes a drone. His attack is now four. Deal one damage to each character you control. So he's going to take one, and there. And then we take one, two, three, four. That's a bit spooky. If we get the card that makes him attack again, oh sorry, we take two here. I can have War Machine defend one of those, right? But I think we're just gonna take it, and we're just gonna hope we don't take two damage. Each drone gets plus one attack and plus one hit point. I can spend one of each resource to discard this card. And then we got Guard. When Advanced Drone is defeated, engaged player puts the top card of their deck into a play if, if, with as, as a drone, okay. I'm just going to put my health tech up there because it literally actually does nothing. <laughs> okay. It's our turn. We'll draw a card with Avengers Mansion. We'll start there. It's the surveillance team. Okay. I can spend Okay. I think we do want to spend one of each resource to get rid of these upgraded drones. I think that's step 1. I think then we're not going to go airborne this turn, which is fine, but I'm going to spend one, two, three, four to play Daredevil. And we're going to have Daredevil thwart this. And then after he thwarts, he deals one damage to an enemy. Which we'll put on him. Sorry, sorry. Daredevil gets one. We're then going to exhaust War Machine and deal two damage to him. To deal one damage to each enemy. So Ultron will take one. And then we got a Repulsor Blast and a Surveillance Team. We're then going to use these two. To defeat the advanced drone, and then he becomes a drone minion. That's fine. Uh, we'll use Iron Man to attack and defeat this drone. These also can just go up here. <laughs> okay. And then now we're gonna exhaust, exhaust this to stand you up, and then we're gonna play Pepper to add one blue to play Repulsor Blast. One, two, three, four, five. Didn't we just go through our whole deck last turn? That's crazy. Uh, for each printed resource. So that's one, two, three, so that's six, seven. I think that's how that works. If that is incorrect, please let me know in the comments below. But that is a good hit against our boy Ultron. And then now we're gonna switch to Tony and recover three health. Okay. We have to draw six cards. One, two, three, four. Five, six. We'll ready all of our cards.
Oh, I didn't even use my draw ability last turn. Okay, and now let's see what's in our hand. We got Great Responsibility, Helicarrier, a Supersonic Punch is huge. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this turn. Now let's see, oh, uh, we got an evil card, and let's see how it all goes sideways, shall we? It's a robot drone. Hello, I'm a robot. Uh, he is going to scheme for two, four, so that puts us to five. Evil card one is going to be... When revealed, each player discards the top three cards of our deck. You're, you fool, you're just making my pepper pots stronger. This is what we lost. Um, and that means draw one extra card, and there is three. And then we got an Ultron. Okay, so that's going to slow us down a bit. That is definitely going to slow us down. Um, okay. And in a perfect world, we'd love to remove eight freaking threat from in play this turn. That'd be sweet. Right, I am going to recover three health because we need it. <laughs> and then we're going to stand me up. And I'm going to look at the top three cards in my deck. I'm going to put one into my hand. I'm going to grab one of these doubles. Uh, it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to put the other one over here. And then we're going to draw a card with Avengers Mansion. Hmm, that's a good card. It's a very good card. It was a uh, Heroic Intuition, which I would actually love to play here. Okay. What... Next is the ultimate question. There's a lot of lines we can take here. I think the first one is using Pepper and one of these Helicarriers to play a Helicarrier. We're then going to spend two with this genius to put a plus one thwart on my boy Tony Stark slash Iron Man. We're going to transform. Oh, I readied myself too early. I was Tony at the start of this. I'm exhausted already myself. I think I just did that bit too early. If I messed up, once again, let me know in the comments. Okay. I think this turn we focus on thwarting. So we'll move three from. No, 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 Justin. Is this your first rodeo? We're going to go airborne, baby. And then we use this to remove a threat from each scheme. Um, we are then going to Helicarrier. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's just let's do everything else first. Uh, we are going to use these to nuke this guy. He's going to turn into a drone. We have two drones in front of us. We'll have Daredevil thwart. Uh, Daredevil will thwart this one away. And then we'll defeat one of these drones. Hey, it's energy. Energy! Uh, we'll use this to go to three. Uh, we'll clear this out. Sorry, War Machine, you gotta go. We just gotta stay ahead. I think we just have to stay ahead. And now we're going to spend one. I'm going to keep this surveillance team so I can go airborne next turn. Spend this interrogation room to deal eight damage to our boy Ultron. Okay. All right. This is looking good. No threat. No drones. Eight health. That's pretty survivable. And I think I might even have Aragorn. Aragorn? I've been playing a lot of Lord of the Rings with uh, with uh, Brim, and Aragorn would always defend for me. I might have Daredevil defend this turn, because we can just go for the kill. 
Let me look at defend. Yeah, okay. Damage uh, from the attack is dealt to the ally. Okay, we can do that. All right. Let's draw our hand. We get six more cards because we have one in hand. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Supersonic punch will get us there. Honestly, things are looking good. Things are looking good. One goes here. And I'll put three threat here instead. So we don't get a minion engage, a drone engage with us. Um, he is going to attack us for two. Three. We'll go down to five. Uh, sorry, it's going to be four because there's going to be a drone. This drone will attack us for one. We'll go to three. Evil card is Ultron Schemes. Discard the top card of your deck for each place this way. Ultron attacks you. All right. Uh, Daredevil, this is your time. So when he attacks, we place one of these in here. And then he attacks for two, three, four. Boost. Choose to either spend a blue resource or put the top card of your deck as a drone. I'll just spend a blue. It's not a problem. Daredevil's down. Okay. So we'll spend a blue to go airborne. Nuke these drones. And then reduce the cost by one and incre and spend one. And I mean, also we'll clear this out. We'll be good at this game. Uh, to play Supersonic Punch, dealing eight damage to our boy Ultron. He's done. Honestly, he's he was my favorite one I played played so far. Uh, Iron Man seems especially good against Ultron. Uh, I mean, just like having these power gauntlets every turn, like to just kill a drone for free, is pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, that was a good time. I'm hoping uh, I'm not going to move into Green Goblin yet. I think I'm going to try some other decks out. Record my deck list for this Iron Man deck so I can revisit it when I do want to go against the Green Goblin, but I think I'd rather try new heroes as opposed to just keep doing Iron Man for the next little bit. So the next video is going to be a new hero, probably still once again going against Rhino. It's the best way to learn a character is just uh, play it. What would have been next? I was looking for, waiting for that Shadow of the Past, man. Yeah, that's a cool... Uh, cool uh, guy to face. I really had a good time there. Uh, if I made any mistakes, once again, please let me know. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope my, like, more muted voice wasn't too weird for a video, but I just didn't. There's, it's like 1240 in the morning, and I shouldn't be screaming. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. You guys have a good one. Uh, see you in the next episode next Thursday for Marvel Legendaries at 7 a.m. Mountain Time. If you like this kind of content, why don't you smash that uh, like button and subscribe to our channel if you're not already. We release a bunch of content with all of the uh, Fantasy Flight Living Card games, pretty much. Thanks for watching. Bye.